Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be showing you how to replace a heater on this Hoover Tumble Dryer. If your machine isn't heating and your clothes aren't coming out dry, and you've seen our diagnosis video and realized that it's the heater that's the problem in your appliance, this is how to replace it. Safety first, always unplug an appliance before carrying out any work. The next thing I need to do is to remove the top of the appliance by undoing these three screws at the back. With the top removed, the next step is to take off the control panel, which is held in place by these two screws at the top. With the control panel out the way, I now need to remove the lower front panel. It simply pops off. Same with the door seal. And then I need to unscrew and remove the door. With the door out the way, I can now remove the front panel, held into place by eight screws. Two at the top, two at the bottom, and four that hold it into place in the center. Now all I have to do is to disconnect the two electrical connections that hold the lock into place on the front panel. Now that's out of the way, I now need to remove the fan that's behind this cover. So at first I need to unscrew this cover. There's also a smaller cover covering the fan itself, just pull that out. And now I need to remove the fan blade itself. I'm gonna use an extension to access this. You may also need to hold the fan to unscrew the nut. With the nut loosened, you can Pull it and the washer out, pull out the fan itself, and there may well be another washer behind. So pull that out as well. And the next thing I need to do is to remove the upper surround. So we pull that out and twist it to bring it fully out. To access the heater, I need to unscrew the screws that hold the heater cover into place. With the heater cover out the way, we can see the heater. Easy enough to remove, just undo the two screws that hold it into place. With the heater unscrewed, you can let it drop, and what I'll do is pull this rubber grommet out to access the wires behind. The reason we've taken the front of the appliance off is to access this cable grip that holds the wires and cables of the heater close to the back of the machine. So you need to take the front off to be able to replace this once you've put your new heater in place. If you don't reconnect this, the wires will be able to move freely within the appliance and they'll get trapped within the moving parts. So to release, just grab a pair of pliers, pinch the clamp, and push it through the back of the appliance. You're then free to pull the wires through, being very careful. There isn't much space to maneuver with these wires, so grab your new heater and you can transfer these wires one at a time, obviously using the coordinating wire for the coordinating plug. Once you've transferred all your cables from the new heater, replace the rubber grommet.
gently push the wires back into the appliance and then you can re-screw the heater to the back. With the heater screwed in place, make sure that the cables are all neatly in position before reattaching the heater cover. Now all I need to do is to refit the cable clamp to the back of the appliance. To refit the cable clamp, you have to reach through the machine get a hold of the clamp and reposition it at the back of the appliance. Once aligned, just push it through. Now that the cable clamp's in place, all I need to do is reassemble the appliance. And when fitting the front panel, remember to reattach the door lock electrical connections. So there we have it, one brand new heater fitted to this Hoover tumble dryer. Spares for tumble dryers and other appliances can be found on the eSpares.co.uk website. Thanks for watching. <laughs>